Hey, hey, Blue Table fans! Welcome to BTP Interim Headquarters. I'm here with Caitlin. Hello. Hey, we want to take a look at your shirt, Caitlin. Let's have it. Alien. Yes. Yeah, that sure. show, that came out when I was in sixth grade and gave me nightmares for six years. That, that thing freaks me out. So anyway, but show. I learned something about Caitlin and aliens. Yes. <laughs> Go ahead. Um, I wrote a thesis on the sh film Aliens. Um, I wrote a thesis on for like college. Yeah, for oh, okay. the 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 role of the dangerous or of the uh, monstrous other and kind of its effects in modern film and cinematography based off of this film. So. Oh my God! <laughs> You're I'm such a nerd. a nerd. I'm a nerd. Yes. Wow, yes, a I mega am. nerd. Mm -hmm. And you should see the painting coming off of this girl's table. Slimy it things. It makes me happy. <laughs> happy inside and you guys are gonna see that too <laughs> so yeah Caitlin 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 <laughs> Caitlin okay well I guess that's it awesome. oh no we were talking about um, that uh, Citadel oh like, yeah dust effect thing. yeah there's an so effect, do tell there's an effect called typhus corrosion which is awesome to use on metal if you're trying to go for a not necessarily completely rusted effect, but mm -hmm. a dulled metal right on the cusp of, du of rusting effect. Where you take it. So is it, is it a powder? No, it's actually liquid and it, it okay. looks like a brownish green and you really have to mix it well. Got but it. then you paint it on over either metallic effects or just over straight paint and then just take a finger and wipe it off so that most of it is gone but a little bit remains. And it will actually make it look like it's just starting to corrode. And if you use it on like skin effects, it gives like a bruising kind of gritty feel to it. It has, it has a little bit of grit to it. So. I can't wait to see this. It's really That's fun. That's going to be real exciting. It's and awesome. we got on this topic because of the Studio Oryx uh, Iron Jaws that we're going to do. And I think I showed you guys this. So there you go. But we're going to do them like really dark, but like they have like uh, red paint chipping off them. These models are incredible, and uh, I set a goal of having uh, four armies ready, Age of Sigma armies ready for Valhalla. Awesome. Oh, Caitlin doesn't know what Valhalla is. I don't know what Valhalla is. I'm, I'm a noob. I'm a scrub. So. <laughs> <laughs> That's fantastic. Well, guys, thanks for tuning in. There's stuff going on all the time here, so keep coming back. You're just like, as soon as the camera goes Sorry. off, there's more fun to so, happen. Um, Go ahead. So September 14th is Dornsmas Eve, and today is Dornsmas, because um, of all Dornsmas? Of, Dornsmas. Like Christmas. Like Christmas, but, but Dornsmas. Dorn, yeah. So the reason being is because of all of the Did you primers, invent this? Or I is did. This a, you did. Of, just the, because I was being weird. It needs to be a thing. <laughs> so so Dorn, Rogel Dorn is the Primarch of the Imperial Fists, and he doesn't really do a whole lot of cool stuff. Like, he, he has cool legends and stuff, but if you're looking at the whole big thing of Primarchs, right. he's sort of the sad middle child. So we thought, of all of them, he really needs a holiday, because, you know, he, he deserves one. So his, uh, his claim to fame is that he kind of blew up and they only really found a hand. <laughs> and then in okay. the drop site massacre, he was supposed to go back up uh, Sanguinius when they landed, but he accidentally teleported to the wrong side of the ship. And so spent the entire um, time trying to get to the other side and showed up right as everybody died. So, um, so Okay, the, so Dorn's miss. So Dorn's miss. So Dorn's miss. Just hold on, which <laughs> I am now going to celebrate. Yes. Well, Is the, it just you doing this or do you so have far, other people like on board? it's like me and two other people. Okay, so, now hold on a second. <laughs> I'm calling on all BTP fans <laughs> to get on board with this. With Dorn's miss. Yes, we're doing Dorn's miss. We'll so, have to do like a video. So the traditional, so yesterday was Dorn's miss Eve. Okay. And on Dorn's Eve. Oh, wait, is today Dorn's Today is Dorn's Oh, shiz. Well, so, never mind then. We'll, we'll do it year, next we'll do year. But uh, so Dorn's Eve is you traditionally eat tacos and okay. you give each other the traditional present that Rogel Dorn gave to the Emperor, which is disappointment. <laughs> so you give boxes that are full of nothing in order to, you know, sim simulate the, yes, the disappointment. And, and, then, and you work it up too, like something real exactly. special is going to be in it, there. But it has to be just profoundly disappointing. And then on Dornsmas Day, it's just celebrated by people wearing yellow and black. And beyond that, okay. we haven't really figured it out. So we're still open to ideas for what to do on Dornsmas Day. This is happening. <laughs> also, this is brilliant. Also, getting really specific directions and getting lost on Dornsmas Day is, is, a, is a way. Okay, yeah. yeah. To, to commemorate him. Yeah, right. exactly. 
So, happy <laughs> Dornsmas, everyone. All right, I'm going to drop you off at the wrong apartment complex. Yay! In the spirit of Dornsmas, I right. accept this disappointment. Thanks, as the Caitlin. Did. You're brilliant. <laughs> I want everyone to appreciate <laughs> the awesome that is Caitlin. Thank you. And so awkward, too. <laughs> Yes. Like, look at you, you're like bright red. I am. This is this is just my face. I'm just always red. So. <laughs> That's fantastic. Anyway, All right, thanks, Happy Caitlin. Happy Dornsmas, everyone. <laughs>